Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to the workshop. And today's topic is Latin square design. At the end of this video, you will understand what is Latin square design, what is its ANOVA table and how to run a Latin square problem in the SPSS. Randomized complete block design take care of soil heterogeneity in one direction. Sometimes in field experimentation it is found that uh, soil heterogeneity varies in two perpendicular directions that is maybe north to south and uh, east to west or south to north or east to west, west to east and so on. Thus in this type of field we require a frame blocks in perpendicular directions where uh, which can take care heterogeneity in both the directions. LSD is such a design which has got capacity to handle such uh, known sources of variation among the experimental units. So fundamentally a Latin square is an arrangement of treatments in such a way that experimental material is divided into rows and columns and the treatments are allocated such that each treatment occurs only once in each row and each column the design is known as Latin square design or LSD in short. This type of treatments helps in estimating the variation among the row blocks as well as the column blocks. Subsequently the total variations among the experimental units are partitioned into different sources uh, namely rows, columns and treatments and the errors. Now we will see the layout of the design. The layout of the design is a square uh, form of the design where each and every element will occur only once that is the randomization will going to uh, happen at only once with uh, no repetitions here a b c d e here a b c d e so in this will not going to repeat any other a again so in this type of design is called as latin square design so we will see the uh, mathematical model or a linear model of the uh, latin square design Latin square design has y that is yield is equal to mu plus that is constant treatment plus row plus column and error. So here where yijk is the response of jth replication comma ith treatment and the kth column mu is a generalized mean effect alpha i is equal to ith treatment effect beta j is equal to jth row effect gamma k is equal to kth column effect. So here we have three uh, particular things to uh, focus on. So treatment row and column. So when we have three coefficients to study we will going to get the uh, three hypothesis. One is for treatment, one is for rows and one is, one is for column. We, uh, we have to see, uh, we have to state or we have to claim in such a way that uh, all the treatments remain same in the null hypothesis and there is some difference in the treatments. So in the alternative hypothesis in a same way for row and column 2. So in the last one is called as an error, uh, error uh, ijk that is all these things which follows error effect with mean 0 and variance finite, finite variance. And these are the steps which are required to calculate the analysis of variance manually. So it is a correction factor GT is a grand total of that particular design and divided by number of treatments that particular element. So total sum of square row sum of square column sum of square treatment sum of square all these things sum of squares we need to calculate and error sum of square we need to evaluate and later on we need to finally arrive the ANOVA table. But this is not the case with the software but when we do go for a manually uh, it will be uh, useful uh, to calculate all these formulas. We will see one example which can take up the uh, Latin square design problem. A Latin square experiment is conducted to compare six composition of fed, a feed uh, for producing honey. The feed composition is A, B, C, D, E. 
that is a b c d and e which uh, will be with normal composition f so the experiment units are b's and the b type uh, and the b's uh, b type types which will use it as a columns and the way how the b is feed the b's that is methods were used as rows one of the measured parameter is honey gain due to feed so we will see with a different level of significance and the different treatment is been allowed uh, the null hypothesis is stating that feed have no different effects on honey gain so we will see how actually the hypothesis will be uh, stated at the end of the video and how actually we interpret this particular lsd design we will understand so this is actually a design so the layout is uh, 6 into 6 layout so these are the methods these are the uh, b's rows as well as column it is a square matrix so i have arranged this particular into different kinds of uh, uh, in the form of an lsd table if you generally observe this one you will understand it's a complete randomization it is nowhere it has been repeated so now what we need to do uh, we need to arrange this particular data into the form of spss that i will show how to enter this particular thing into the form of an spss now first you need to enter the methods how many methods are there six and a b types uh, one two three four five six and then different kinds of treatments which we have allocated so this is a honey production which is an yield so now we need to see what uh, we need to see how methods uh, contribute for the honey production as and uh, bees uh, contributes for the honey production and which bee and uh, which method and uh, which treatment so we have to see whether uh, which method is good and which b uh, type is good and which treatment is good so now i have run the hypothesis it shows significant for all the things but anyway we will do it in the spss directly so now i have entered the data as desired so first i have entered uh, methods b types treatments and honey production how we need to do go for an analyze go to generalized linear model go to univariate so uh, you need to transform where and all i will teach you so here honey production is definitely yield so that will be definitely an independent uh, dependent variable y so that y is equal to methods plus b types plus treatments and error will be taken care of by the random factors so we will go to a model and uh, these are the d three different things which is uh, you need to customize it you need to click here customized and you transform all these things here and uh, continue and then you go to the post hook test post hook test you transform whatever all is required that is rows columns and treatments and uh, duncan multiple range test that is duncan's test you click on that particular thing and continue so when you click ok an output is get generated that output will be in the form of another table so what we need to focus on methods b types and treatments first fundamental issue is whether these things are significant or not yes this is less than 0 0.05 these all the threes are significant okay if these three things are significant what we need what conclusion we need to give that we will see in the uh, slide so we have claimed that there is no significant difference among the any methods that is a null hypothesis for the first uh, one and uh, alternative hypothesis there is some significant difference among any uh, methods so here two hypotheses have been stated and we need to see which one is uh, is accepted or which one is rejected for methods uh, significant value is 0.000, 000 
so that means that 0.00 is less than 0.01 so h0 is rejected h1 is accepted so there is no significant difference among any methods is got rejected and h1 is accepted there is some sign of significant difference among methods so one or the other method uh, will have some difference in it so those methods will go uh, give um, effect to the honey production so which method we need to see so in the second uh, honey bees uh, types also it's the same kind of hypothesis there is no significant difference significant difference among any other bee types and there is some significant uh, different among any bees so these kind of three hypothesis which we made for the three particular uh, things so if the significance obtained is uh, Mm, greater than 0.01 h0 is accepted if the significance obtained is less than 01 it is h0 is rejected for all the three cases it is same so if you see here uh, in the first case it got rejected that is h0 got rejected in the second case also h0 got rejected in the third case is also h0 got rejected so what we can conclude the different methods of rearing significantly affect the honey production so different methods of uh, honeybees rare uh, honeybees of rearing so significantly affect the uh, honey production and different kinds of treatments significantly affect the honey production so here uh, we can give the conclusions before that i need to tell you what is this particular uh, post hoc test is this post hoc test we have generated that is duncan multiple range test here there are six methods here are there are six b types and the next one is here there are uh, six different treatments out of this six methods which one uh, is good for which one is good for practicing uh honey rearing uh, for getting the good yield so method 1 is showing this much of mean method 2 is showing uh, method 2 and 3 is showing this much of means method 4 is showing only this much and method 5 is showing this and method 7 is showing 97 so the mean is very high here so out of this we can conclude that we can conclude that uh mean value of the sixth method high uh, is high so that it is a, uh, it is good for honey production so sixth e this particular method is very useful for uh, honey uh, production in a same way b this particular sixth b type so here also b here also b here also b so we don't have any significant difference between these two three and four we have some difference in c and we have some difference in 6 uh, so 6 and 5th method are good for production of honey and in the same way for treatments uh, mean value of the b the treatment is so high so it is uh, mean value of the b treatment is so high so it is that it is understood that we need to uh, focus on the b uh, treatment we can understand this one by post hoc test so this mean is so high so we need to focus on this particular method b and f these two method uh, these two treatment gives the good production uh, for honey we need to give a suggestions that for the farmers uh, practice b treatment and f treatment if they come for uh, Uh, any kind of suggestion out of the research and we need to give a suggestion uh, that uh, sixth one uh, for the honey bee types and in a same case uh, sixth one in the case of uh, methods so this is what is uh, latin square design if you have any queries you can please contact me uh, to this